say to you, well, the intention was to go down to Bar here in Montenegro on the coast. Taking the train down, it's about an hour ride, and you come through this large tunnel, and there's no air condition on the train because it's a holdover from about 80 years ago, it seems like. So you go through this really, really long tunnel, kind of cools off the train a little bit. And then I kind of closed my eyes, and then when we came out of the train, everybody's getting off. So I think, hey, we're at the end. Oh no, we're about two stops before Bar. And this little town of Sudamore, if I say that correctly. And there's not another train to Bar for another two and a half hours. So Bar may not happen this afternoon. We may have to come back and do that one another day, but we're gonna walk down into the city here get close to the beach i think this is kind of a touristy area so maybe there'll be some things to look at and see and do maybe grab some lunch and we'll explore the coast of montenegro it is a warm one but basically a walk straight downhill from the train station and we get into the coast here on the Adriatic Sea, that's the same sea that runs south into Albania. If you watched a video before, maybe from Doris or Vlora, maybe Golem, Albania. It's got some little loungers here, little sandy, pebbly beach area. And I think this way we've got a little bit of a promenade that you can go along. I mentioned it is warm today. It's about 36 degrees Celsius in the 90s Fahrenheit. What do you need on a hot day? A good cup of coffee. Because I haven't had a coffee yet today, so maybe if I stroll along the uh, promenade. Not in a beer mode yet. <laughs> On the coast here in Montenegro, you can get to Buba, which is North Kotor also in that area and just to the south of me now where i intended to get to today was bar and other than the train that i took down i don't know another i don't know another way to get there other than wait for the next train which is not going to be until like after 4 p.m which at that point <laughs> probably a little bit too late in the day to go down there and explore the train ride down is only about two and a half euros. So at least in that sense, it's quite affordable. And hey, we'll get to explore a town that I didn't intend to check out. So let's we'll see if we can find that cup of coffee somewhere and get out of the sun for a few minutes. More coming back, Montenegro. I come down a little further through the uh, promenade area there. It gets a little bit less crowded. See, even the majority of the beach chairs down here don't have residents on them. And this is a Saturday, actually. But a real uh, delightful place in the beach. Quite sandy here in this part. When I first came down the hill, it was a little bit more pebbly, a little bit more rocky. I think my goal is to go in here and grab a coffee get out of the sunshine for a little bit and then maybe continue on down this direction and check out uh, as it kind of hooks around to the right there maybe even gets into the woods a little bit so we'll go exploring since we're not going to make it to bar we might as well enjoy this pretty amazing deal for a euro 40 View. 
Keep impressing, Montenegro. Keep impressing. We'll stop off for lunch here at the Starry Grad. I'm on the upstairs terrace. See some more steps even heading up that direction, maybe into some apartments. Copenhagen's third best beer imported. Four euros. A little expensive, but considering the area, I guess that's probably about right. And this is the view back down, looking off the terrace. And up and down the promenade. Well, after the stop for lunch, kind of continued on the promenade here, but a nice little view looking back into the hills of western Montenegro. These tumble right into the Adriatic Sea, right where we're at. About 5 p.m., the beach is still going strong. This is towards the uh, latter end of the promenade. I think getting into the forest is going to be a little bit ambitious this afternoon. It is warm. Even with the breeze, it's still quite toasty out here. I think I'm going to go find a uh, one more cold beverage here on the beach. And then hike the hill back up to the train station. Maybe get a shot of uh, sunset on the way out. Another hour plus till that. We'll continue on here in Montenegro. Ah, I found the most delicious Pilsner Urquell down here on the water. Only problem, they don't take a debit card or credit card. And I have 7 euros and 30 cents left and I need at least three and a half to get home. So, one beer here. Had to make a pause, but I can pay with the card here, so that's a positive. Nick Shishiko. The favorite of Montenegro. Oh, just after 7 p.m. here in the town on the Adriatic Sea. I believe it's called Sutamore. That may not be 100% correct. I never did check in with the locals to get the exact correct pronunciation. The sun going down, the temperature is finally starting to get a little bit more comfortable. We were up near 35 degrees today in the mid 90s Fahrenheit. See the sun dipping back that direction. We got about a 45 minute wait for the next train. Hey, cool little stop here. I was intending to go to bar and uh, got off a little bit too quick on the uh, train. And this turned out to be a pretty nice alternative destination. The majority of the uh, people here are local or from Serbia. I see a lot of license plates from like Belgrade. You can actually take a train from Bar over to Belgrade. It's a long ride, but you can do it. My one tip for you, if you do stop off here, bring cash. A lot of the uh, restaurants do not take credit cards. You can get cash out of an ATM, of course, but it's about a five or six euro fee to do so. I'm not a big fan of paying money to get money, so I think I'm going to go uh, maybe try to find one more place where I'll take a card for a beer and then walk back up to the train station and head back towards Pagorica, the capital. More to come from Montenegro.